Hello everybody and welcome to my first uh, intermediate Excel tutorial and the, the intermediate tutorial is going to be a little bit more complicated than the beginner ones um, and so we'll start to go into some quite useful functions um, and give you a little bit of uh, flow throughout the spreadsheet. Um, so the first function I'm going to go to in the intermediate tutorials is the COUNTIF function. And the COUNTIF function, uh, it will count values for you um, and it will only count ones with certain criteria. So let's say we wanted to count all of the Januaries in here. We could give it all of these months and then it will count one, two, three, four, five and it should give us five. So if I start writing this formula over here, let's put January and so to write our formula it's just going to be equals count if open bracket Then this formula takes two parameters the first one being the range which we used to anyway so let's just put in B to B, so all of column B, and then comma, and then criteria. So the criteria is what we want to uh, actually count. So in this case, we're going to try and count January. Uh, so we're just going to put in inverted commas January, close bracket. And as you can see, this has given us the value of five. Now, for this criteria here, you don't necessarily have to put in um, the, the string yourself. Uh, you can, in fact, just reference another cell. Uh, and as you can see, because we've written January in this cell, the formula still applies. So this is quite useful because now we can just drag down this so we get all of the months and then pop the formula down and because as the formula drops down the row is changing you'll see that it's referencing each one in turn uh, which has given us a breakdown of all the different months and then counting how many there are for that month the other thing you can do is you don't necessarily have to put just a string uh, you can put a number so if we put equals count if open bracket do this column comma two close bracket and that's count four because it can see four numbers two so that's how you count numbers you can also write you start using a comparison comparison operators um, so you can put in greater than 2. Uh, if you press enter at this moment, it's not going to work. What you have to do is you have to put it in inverted commas. And so this is saying that there are two values in this range, E to E, so all of column E, that are greater than 2. You see if you switch this to less than 2, it changes to 6. So it's counting that, that many less than 6. And I've never tried this before, but let's try less than or equal to. Yep, that's worked. So less than or equal to 2. And it gives you all the ones that are less than or equal to 2. The other thing that's quite useful um, and gets you out of a couple of tricky situations sometimes is equals less than, greater than, or greater than, less than. I can't work them out when they're like this. Um, this will count all of the ones all of the cells that actually have something in them that isn't text that is that is that isn't blank text so that's quite a useful one to have as well um, you you might not realize it until you need it um, but that's that saved me a couple of times especially in conditional formatting uh, which I'll come on to in later tutorials um, so that's an overview of COUNTIF, very useful formula and uh, in the next tutorial I will be going over SUMIF which is extremely similar. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.